What's up everyone, Carter here. I hope everyone's having a great day today. And in this specific video, I wanna go over three super, super important tips to quickly grow and scale your Amazon reselling business. Now, there's a lot that goes into being successful on Amazon. You know, what products are you selling? You know, how are you fulfilling? How's your customer service? You know, how are you running and scaling that Amazon business? And that's ultimately what I want to talk about in this video so I can give you the best possible knowledge and tips and secrets to quickly grow a very, very successful and profitable Amazon reselling business. Now, I've personally been selling on Amazon for the past three years now since I was 15 years old, and I've really been through a lot. I've been on trends. I've been on popular products. I've sold just about anything that you can possibly name, just random items that I'm finding at garage sales and Goodwills, and I've sold them on Amazon, and I've learned a lot from that. I've made mistakes, you know, I've made some really, really good sales and not so really good sales, and that's really what I want to talk about in this video, and I'm going to give you the three best tips that you need to follow so you can quickly scale your Amazon business to $5,000 per month and beyond. Now, the first tip I want to talk about are going after high sales rank or uh, you know <clears throat> now the first tip I want to go over are going after products that have you know a pretty high sales rank and that you could qualify is kind of unique or rare now the reason I'm going over this is on my channel I talk a lot about the best items to go after books or video games or electronics but no one really talks about those electronics that have you know really really high sales ranks you know what sales rank should you look for now for those of you that are wondering the sales rank is there to help you determine how quickly and how often that product actually sells on Amazon so the lower the sales rank the more often it sells but a lot of people especially new sellers you know for maybe books they like to stay under a 1 million sales rank but what if there's a 2 million sales rank book that sells for $150-200 are you willing to go after it and take a risk? And that's what I want to talk about in this tip because you can't just focus on quick or fast selling products. Now, first off, those are great products to start with. Those can bring you some really, really nice income, but you're leaving a ton of money on the table. And I've got this from experience from selling on Amazon for three years. I've been taking risks on Amazon. Like, for instance, this book, I'll try to put a screenshot on the screen, but this has a really, really, really high sales rank. Now, as you can see, there's only one offer on this book. I believe it's for what, you know, $195. So are you willing to take that risk for that higher of a sales rank product? It might take a month to sell. It might take six months. It might take a year plus to sell. But when you just break it down into what exactly it's going to cost you to store a book at Amazon for six months or a year, and if you're selling it for $150, $200, it's a no-brainer. Let me break it down real quick for you. Let's just say you bought this book for a dollar, and it's going to cost you, you know, eight cents a month for that book to be stored at Amazon. So if it takes six months before that book sells, your buy cost is a dollar, and for six months you paid eight cents each month to have that book actually stored. Eight times six, that's 48 cents. So your total buy cost is really a dollar forty-eight on a book that you potentially can sell for two hundred dollars. Now a lot of new sellers will see that sales rank and they'll just say, "Nope, you know, I don't want to wait," or "No, I don't want to take the risk." That's why I'm making this tip. You need to take a couple risks in your Amazon business products that maybe people, you know, undervalue. Audiobooks, those have a ton and a ton of money to be made. You know, I've found plenty of seventy-five. $100 audiobooks, but most people don't know what they are, they undervalue them, and they don't even try to go after them. VHS tapes. Now, I highly recommend you go after brand new sealed ones, but still, if they have a good sales rank, a good sales rank, go after them. Take the risk. You don't. You shouldn't care about what you're selling. You should care about if it's going to sell and how much profit you're making. So don't focus on a VHS tape. Oh, nobody's going to buy it. Well, guess what? If it's specific you know, VHS tape that people want and you have it in brand new sealed condition and you can wait a little while for it to sell to make a 15, 20, 30 dollar profit, purchase it, send it to Amazon, price it competitively and make some extra money in your Amazon business. The second tip I want to talk about is taking action. Now this is for the people that haven't started their Amazon business yet. These are the people that watch my YouTube videos. Maybe they comment, they interact with me, they ask questions. They're doing really, really good stuff, you know, interacting with the whole reselling community, but they're not taking the most important step, which is 
you know, taking action, creating your Amazon seller account, going and, you know, listing potential products that you can resell on Amazon. You know, I have a lot of people that watch my YouTube videos, follow me on Instagram, they like my posts, they never take action. You know, I don't know if they're scared, I don't know if they don't know where to start, but you need to take action. That's the most important thing. It's okay if you make mistakes, it's okay if you lose a little bit of money. Learn from it and don't make that same mistake. Because if you never take action, you're never going to know how successful that you can be. You know, it's a trial and error business. Everybody's going to make mistakes. Everybody's going to start from point B, zero sales, and build their way up. The only way you know how successful you'll be is if you take action. Really, when it comes down to it, you can watch all the YouTube videos in the world. You can fill your head with all the Amazon, you know, information that you can even think of. But if you don't actually implement it, you don't actually try it, you're not going to make any money. So if you're watching this video, I want you to figure out where you need to start. I'm, maybe you need to purchase a course or a program so that you can kind of have someone, you know, walk you through it. Maybe you need to find more of a step-by-step -step video on YouTube, or maybe you just need to go and get into it and follow something nice. You know, start your Amazon seller account. Purchase your Amazon seller account, get the Amazon seller app, and start going out and scanning books and video games and looking up electronics and quickly purchasing inventory, creating your first shipment, and sending it to Amazon, just seeing how it goes. You know, see what sells, what it sells for, how much profit you're making, and reinvest that profit back into the business and keep scaling, and keep scaling, and keep scaling. Tip three is to stay consistent. I know a lot of sellers out there that are just very, very stagnant. You know, they're getting results, they're making money, but they're not really looking to grow. They're not looking to scale. They're not staying consistent. You know, they're not consistently sourcing every weekend. They're not picking out days a week that they're, you know, going out to garage sales or thrift stores. You know, they need to stay consistent because if you don't stay consistent and you just stay stagnant, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to have to find a way to scale. If that means outsourcing or if that means expanding your product line. So maybe from just selling books, you get into, you know, electronics. Or maybe from just selling electronics, you get into, you know, video games. You do some retail arbitrage. You just need to find a way to scale. If you stay consistent, you never know your potential possibilities. Remember, there's a reason you started selling on Amazon. Maybe you want financial freedom. You want some more money to spend on vacations, some more money that you can take time off of your job. Maybe you want to quit your job. Maybe you want to make this your full-time gig, you know, going out and reselling on Amazon. The reason you started needs to motivate you so that you can put that passion back into your business to keep growing and scaling. That's really the only way that you can reach your ultimate financial goal selling on Amazon. Now, some of the most important tasks in building a successful reselling business are going to be your sourcing, your shipping, in your management. Those three things are what are going to help you build and scale your Amazon reselling business. And the amount of time and effort and work you put into those three tasks is ultimately going to be how successful and how much money that you make. If you're consistently going out and sourcing products, you know, expanding to different locations, expanding your product line, that's ultimately going to bring more profitable products back into your reselling business. Now that you've accumulated 50, 60, 75, 100 products, now you have to be able to ship those products to the Amazon warehouse. And then once they're shipped and they've arrived and are for sale on Amazon.com, you have to be able to manage your pricing. Make sure your pricing is staying competitive so you can make sure you have the best chance possible of winning that buy box and winning that sale in your Amazon reselling business. So if you want to quickly grow and scale your Amazon reselling business as quick as possible, you really have to pick out those three tasks and within each of those tasks, figure out how you can expand, how you can grow and how you can scale. You know, what locations are you sourcing from? Are you going garage selling on the weekend? Are you trying to find book sales, you know, during the month where you could potentially find five, six, hundred profitable books that you can then resell back on Amazon? Are you going to different thrift stores? Are you going out of the city to source? Those are all things you need to run through your mind. You know, shipping. You know, are you finding the best locations to have your product shipped here? Are you shipping to one warehouse? Are you shipping to multiple warehouses? How quickly are you shipping? You know, are you letting the products sit in your house for a week, two weeks before you ship them up? You know, that's time that you're losing that you could be creating potential sales for that product and ultimately just managing the account, making sure your product prices are competitive so you can quickly and hopefully win that buy box for the products. And ultimately when it comes to being successful, you need to find a passion or you need to have some motivation to work on the business and work on it a ton. 
you know, a lot of people think they just can, you know, take this business and start making money over overnight. And if they're not making the amount of money in the first week or the first month of their business, they get frustrated and they quit. You know, this is a this is a long term business. Remember, Amazon's doing all the fulfillment for you. You don't have to ship anything. So honestly, stop complaining. Just go out and find profitable products. Keep shifting them into where, to Amazon. Keep having competitive pricing, and those products are on the largest retail website in the world. Eventually, the right traffic's going to come. You're going to have the right price point, and that product's going to sell. Now it's time to replenish that product with another profitable product that you can potentially sell and just keep growing and scaling it over time. So if you are interested in really starting your own reselling business and you kind of want something that can you know, walk you through step by step of how I was able to build a successful reselling business, I highly recommend you check out my reselling training below this video. I'll have it linked in the description. It just shows basically how I've run my business reselling for three straight years, how I was able to, you know, sell items that I bought for a dollar and sell them for two hundred dollars, like that book. How I was able to buy electronics for fifteen dollars and sell them for three hundred dollars. Everything the ins and outs of building and setting up a successful reselling business, I show in that training. So if that is of interest to you, I will have it linked below in the description of this video. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys got any value from what I went over in this video, what I taught, um, please feel free to leave a like. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions regarding anything I went over in this video, comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to see more videos on how you can create an additional stream of income online, then subscribe to this channel, and I'll see everyone in the next video.